Welcome to the Etsy Entrepreneur Podcast, where sellers can get help starting, building, and growing their Etsy business so that they can make extra money pursuing their passion. Are you ready to get the tips and strategies you need to be successful? Then let's get started. Here is your host, a top 1% full-time Etsy seller, LL. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Etsy Entrepreneur Podcast. This is LL from EtsyEntrepreneur.com. Hopefully everyone is having an awesome day so far. I'm having a good day. I'm a little getting over a little bit of a cold. Hopefully it doesn't sound too terrible, but maybe it's a little nasally on your side. So I do apologize about that, um, but I feel great. Uh, just my nose doesn't sound great. So uh, it's that time of year where you get those little uh, annoying colds that kind of creep in. You just got to uh, fight it off and, and not let it uh, affect you. So anyways, um, so today's podcast, what I want to talk about is uh, competition. So this is something that uh, I've, I've really I've had to deal with myself, um, you know, internally. Um, I've had to kind of fight fight back, uh, you know, competition and, uh, mindset issues with competition. Um, you know, pr- pretty much since I started selling online, it's always been a, a struggle to stay on track and not let it affect you. Uh, but now I'm really starting to notice, uh, especially in some people that I coach and do coaching calls with is, you know, how it's affecting them. And it's, it's really, uh, problematic and it's really uh, sometimes heartbreaking to see how uh, competition can affect someone's mindset and really start uh, you know impacting their business. Um, I, I coached a gentleman a couple of weeks back and uh, he's dealing with competition um, from below so he had a, a pretty good lead on uh, his niche market for his Etsy shop. He was doing really well for several years. And uh, he was one. He was probably the only one uh, selling his particular item. And now there's several other people selling this a similar type of item. It's not the exact same. I mean, he feels like he's getting knocked off, but it's not the exact same item. Um, it's a variation of something that he's selling, but it's impacting his business dramatically. Um, and he's super frustrated and uh, he's super upset about it. <clears throat> so. Um, and, and that's a problem uh, that, that really uh, is impacting his business, and I feel bad for him. Uh, but that's something that we all have to deal with. Even big businesses have to deal with, um, you know, competition, and uh, find ways to not let that impact their performance, and uh, find ways around that. Uh, and you can't just give up and throw up your hands, um, which is kind of what he wanted to do. I tried to, you know, motivate him not to do that, not to give up to fight. I mean, this is this is your business. You started this business. You got to fight for your business. It's not always going to be smooth sailing. You may have a great idea. Uh, you may offer a great product, but as it starts getting out there, people are going to start, um, you know, offering similar products, similar variations. Uh, it happens all the time. Uh, you know, if you ever watched Shark Tank, you you know exactly what I'm talking about. They're it's always a topic on there of, are you going to get knocked off? When are you going to get knocked off is basically the question. Um, and then how to kind of different ways around that, how to avoid that or not avoid it, but how to use it to your advantage and not let it impact your business. So that's what I want to talk about today. And that's kind of the why uh, behind the why. Um, so really, you know, competition, I view it as a mindset issue. Um, it, it's something that will impact you and you can choose to let it impact you negatively or you can choose to let it impact you positively. So a lot of times it can prevent you from starting your business, starting your shop. Um, I see that a lot. A lot of people are very concerned with competition when starting a shop because maybe it's something um, that there is a lot of competition out there. So they're fearful of starting their shop. Um and it's really hard. You're not going to really come up with something that's completely original. You know, everything's been done before. It's really how can you do it better? How can you add a unique spin to it? Um, stuff like that. And then I also see competition come up like I just talked about where it can hinder your growth, make you second guess yourself, you know, make you upset and make you sad. Um, you know, those are all things that it, that it can happen if you're viewing competition uh, in a negative way. 
Um, and there's basically, if you already have a shop, if you already have an Etsy shop, you, you're going to see two forms of competition. You're going to see competition from below and you're going to see competition from above. So competition from below is basically people that are coming up behind you offering similar products or similar variations of the products and they're catching you. You know, they're taking, taking some of your uh, customers away. You, you're starting to see that. Um, so, and then you're, you're also going to see competition from above. Those are the people that you're chasing, you know, the people that are selling similar stuff or in the same market and you're constantly looking at them and saying, how the heck can I sell, uh, that many products? You know, how are they selling that many products? You know, how can I catch them? I just, I'm so frustrated because I'm not selling, um, the same number of products. Maybe I'm selling, you know, stuff that's just as good or better. Um, but I'm not selling as many and I just don't understand why. So I, I uh, get people dealing with that as well. So the way that I look at both of those forums, competition from below and competition from above, um, is you have to look at it as a way to motivate you, to drive you forward. You cannot look at it as a setback. You cannot look at it negatively because um, it will impact you negatively if you look at it like that. As hard as it may be, you have to look at it as a positive uh, and change your mindset on competition. Uh, you know, competi a lot of competition is, is a good thing. That means there's a big market for it. There's uh, If there's a lot of people doing, a lot of people selling um, similar stuff, that means there's a big market for it. And a lot of, there's a lot of money to be made. So don't, don't have a limitedist view. Um, you know, there, you want to view it in a way where, you know, there's a lot of customers in the world, you know, millions and millions of people in the world that you can sell your products to. So don't think that you're going to, uh, the wells are going to dry up. You're not going to be able to sell your stuff. So the way that you can look at it to, to move you forward is do it better, you know, offer, um, better products, you know, better variations of the product, unique variations of the product, uh, you know, find ways to set yourself apart by doing it better. Um, you know, set yourself apart with, uh, you know, customer service, uh, the quality, like I just talked about the quality of the products, um, you know, variations, maybe you're offering variations of the product that people aren't offering different sizing options, different color options, different combinations of options, um, you know, different, uh, uh, bulk idle item options. Maybe there's uh, accessories and stuff like that. You can bundle together, um, and offer, you know, bulk items or bundle items, um, pricing, <clears throat> You know, maybe maybe you're pricing too low, maybe you're pricing it too high, uh, or you should be pricing it higher, you should be pricing it lower. You know, look look at that. Um, shipping times, can you ship it out quicker? Um, you know, can you offer uh, less shipping, stuff like that? Can you offer shipping upgrades? So there's ways that you can set yourself apart with things like that as well. Um, but another thing too is you, you don't want to uh, avoid, completely avoid the competition. Uh, uh, like the, the customer uh, that I was talking about before that we were doing the coaching call, he didn't even, he refused to even look at his competition because it said that got him too upset, uh, which I can totally understand. It does. If you're, if you're looking at it negatively and you're already negative about it, it's going to get you upset. But if you flip the script and you're looking at it positive uh, and you're using it to motivate yourself, you have to look at your competition, and see what they're doing, not to copy them, but to see what's working, maybe you can use some of their strategies. You know, you don't want to copy their products. Um, a lot of people have great ideas as far as um, strategies and different things that they're doing, different design elements, um, stuff like that that you can use to maybe put your own spin on it. Um, you know, there's you got to look at it as, in a way to invent a better wheel. Like I said before, you're not really going to make something that's completely original that hasn't been done before. It's been done before, but how can you make it better? How can you reinvent the wheel, make a better wheel? Um, so just look and see what they're doing strategy wise. I mean, that's a big thing that helped me get my business to where it is. Um, today is just s sitting down and looking at all kinds of different shops and seeing what strategies they are doing and then testing those strategies. Um, in my own shop and completely different niches, you know, you don't want to get too wrapped up in it because it's going to start taking away from your business, but see what they're doing. Start trying your own strategies and see what works for you, but use it as motivation. Use it as an idea, uh, as ideas to get you moving forward. You know, it's 
when you're looking at stuff like that, and you're looking at other shafts and competition, you know, that sparks ideas. Um, a lot of Etsy sellers are super creative people or super uh, imaginative people. So looking at other people's stuff helps spark ideas for our own stuff and what we can do in our own shops. So it is definitely a good thing. But along the same lines, um, when looking at other competition, you want to pay attention, but don't pay attention, which makes absolutely no sense. I know, but <laughs> have you, in case you guys have ever heard the quote, some of you guys maybe, maybe have heard this co- uh, quote before, but comparison is the thief of joy. So, uh, a lot of times this does affect your mindset, which I've been talking about this whole podcast where it really, uh, you know, starts making you look at things negatively. If you're constantly comparing yourself, uh, to other people, to other shops, to other sellers, um, it will, no matter what, it will start to affect you. So look briefly from time to time, but do not get infatuated with other shops and your competition. Uh, because, and, and look at it in a positive way to grow your own shop, uh, because it will, it will, the negativity will creep in and it will, you know, be the thief of joy for you. And you don't want that to happen. You want to you know, focus on your own shop, have joy in the successes that you've had with your own shop, your sales, you know, whether you've had one sale or a thousand sales that celebrate that, that is a success. You got someone to come in and buy your product, something that, um, you you designed or you made and they bought from you. They liked what you had to offer. Um, so that is a success. So focus more on that. You know, how can you, um, get your products out to more people? You know, how can you create, uh, different products for more people, um, different products for more types of people, stuff like that. So you have to look and see what other people are doing just so you know, uh, but you don't want to get totally caught up in it and look at it all the time, every day. And big companies do this all the time. You know, that you see it, you see it all the time. People are jumping on the bandwagon, uh, of what other companies are doing and uh, they're trying to do it better or do it differently. It happens all the time, but they, they have to look and see what other competition is doing so they're not left in the dust. Um, but you can put your own spin on things, put your own flavor on things, uh, and just do it unique, more uniquely, do it better, and stuff like that. So hopefully that helps give you guys a little bit more uh, insight on competition and how you can use it to your advantage and not use it as a setback not use it as a negative uh, to impact you because you're going to be dealing with competition. Uh, if you're a seller, if you're selling anything, whether you have a brick and mortar store, if you have an online store, competition is out there. It's always going to be out there, but don't let it impact you negatively. Don't uh, let it think that you can't do something. Don't think that the market's too saturated. Uh, you know, if you have stuff to, to sell, stuff to make, um, you know, go ahead and put it out there to the world and, and just try to keep chipping away and do it better and, and offering it to more people. Um, but don't give up. Don't let competition affect you guys negatively. So um, the other thing that I wanted to touch on today, in case you haven't seen, if you've been to Etsy, entrepreneur.com, there are a lot of resources out there to help you start, build and grow your Etsy shop um, so that you can make extra money enjoying your passion. I mean, that's really what I want to help you with. I, a lot of creative people out there um, that want to offer their products to the world. They want to have more traffic, make more sales, grow their Etsy shops. They need help with marketing. Um, they need help with sales strategies and stuff like that. So I do have a 30-day challenge on there that includes daily videos to walk you through implementing strategy in your shop to grow your shop in just 30 days. Uh, there's printable daily uh, planners, daily guides to help show you exactly what to do each day so that you stay on task. Um, there is access to the Growth Accelerator coaching uh, course pack. So there's over 25 courses in there and that is part of the 30 day challenge as well. You get access to the course pack and you will use those training videos in there. There's walkthrough training videos showing you how to implement and do everything in your shop, uh, that I've done that ha- that's helped me got, get to a 1% Etsy seller. Uh, and then the, the main thing, this, the most exciting part of the 30 day challenge is you get access to the, uh, 
help forum, the community help forum. So this is a place you can go and ask any question at any time of the day and get answers for your questions. We can talk about strategy. Um, you can have a question just about Etsy in general, and I'll go in there and answer your question and give you the insight and feedback based on uh, you know, my selling experiences and things that I've done in my shop. Um, so it's nice to have the training stuff, which is which is really awesome, really helpful. It's all walk through video so you can see exactly what I'm doing. But at the end of the day, if you don't understand something, you need a, someone there to support you. And that's where the help forum is a game changer. You can go in there and ask questions and get that support at any time throughout the day. And that was a big part when I started my journey. I did a couple of training programs because I didn't know that what I was doing until I learned and taught myself. Um, but there was no support. You know, I had so many questions, but there was no one to answer after I watched the training videos. You know, it's not always black and white. You need someone there to kind of give you some guidance. And that's the main thing that I wanted to offer when I started these training programs. So if you go to EtsyEntrepreneur.com, you'll see the 30-day challenge on the main page. You can click there and you can select a 30-day challenge. Um, and like I said, you get access to the 30-day challenge, exactly what to do every day, what to implement in your shop. And then you'll get access to the Growth Accelerator course pack and the help forum as well. So the trifecta to really grow your shop and set you guys apart from the rest. I put everything in there that I've done and am doing in my shops to be successful and become a top 1% Etsy seller. And I really want to help you guys do the same. Um, I have a lot of members in there right now that I'm helping and we're working together to grow their shops, set them apart from the rest. Um, there's a lot of lot more people out there that I know needs help and that I know needs guidance. And I really want to give you guys that. So hope to see you there until next time. Hopefully you guys have a great day. Work on your shops, grow your shops, be successful. Talk to you later.